Well, g'day and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. How are we all today? I hope you are feeling well and great and ready to watch another video. Okay, so this one's a little different. Um, I'm going to introduce it this way and see how we go. Um, basically, this is a very different type of diamond painting I've done before. This is one of the mystery, do 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 do, mystery diamond paintings. That's right. Um, this one is from FG Normal, and that was one of the unboxings I've done uh, so so recently. I'll try and link that in the eye thingy if I can do that or um, somewhere. See how we go. <laughs> anyway, I have worked this mystery diamond painting up and I have done it in little sections and I'm going to run a little quick time-lapse video of that for you to check out and I'll see if you can sort of from its progress what sort of thoughts and ideas everyone was having um, as it came together and then I will well you'll see the end picture there of what it is but um, yeah, we'll have a look at the final image, thoughts, um, pros and cons, and we'll have just a little look at what's left in the kit as well. Okay, so as I say, let's roll the tape. All right, so what did you think? Different, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, there was a lot of guessing going on in our household on what it was as it was coming together. I don't think anyone would have guessed what the final image was. Um, I bet you you had plenty of different ideas. If you'd like to add some of the thoughts you had in the comments down below, that'd be really ideal. I love to see what people's, um, basically what guesses were on what this image was going to come up as because I, I'm betting pennies to pesos, as they say. Uh, I don't think anyone would have got that straight off the bat, especially not in those first few uh, segments anyway. Very, very different. Okay, so having said that, having seen all that, I'll show you the final picture, image, as you might say, and uh, yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about that as we look through it. So firstly, I'm going to move the drills and my little weights. These little gems I picked up at a little trinket store, and I thought they'd be really pretty, but they actually turned out to be really awesome, cool paperweights to hold my corners down when I'm working on diamond paintings. So I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, it's been a bit of a traveller, this one. I took it to my daughter's place and did some work there and so forth and lots of different things. So it's a little bit of a journey. <laughs> it's been with me for a little while now. So I'm going to flip it. Voila. There it is in all its glory. Oh, my Lord. Uh, when I thought mystery painting, I was expecting maybe a little cottage scene or some flowers or fruit or, I don't know, a cat. But I got this. 
So there you go. Very, very random, very random image. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed this in a hundred years <laughs> of this being what it is. Uh, a lot of the guesses I had was frog or with the greens, maybe something like that at start before I even started on it. But once I started getting a little few bits here and there, I started thinking more turtle. But that was also wrong. My partner actually guessed Slimer, which I thought out of everyone is probably closest. <laughs> Uh, my other one of the daughters thought cabbage and this part was coming I don't know so it's a Nintendo it's cabbage or something I don't know what the heck I don't know lots and lots of weird stuff going on lots and lots and lots of guesses were going on but no one really actually picked oogie boogie and that what I understand or think it is an image of is the great character Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm not sure about what the background is doing. I think that's just to give it that motion flare or something part of the song when he's singing. But yeah, as far as I'm near certain of, that's Oogie Boogie's foot. Oh, my creaky cam. Um, what do you call it? Stand thing. I'm just going to have to do it a little bit differently, I think. So that is... Boogie Boogie. Boogie Boogie. Nightmare Before Christmas. I must say, these drills are so shiny. <laughs> you want a nice sparkly diamond painting? You got it. It's just a very interesting um, subject. We'll go with that subject. Alrighty, so ugh, my caddy keeps squeaking. Let us talk about pros and cons of this diamond painting, far as structural parts. We've discussed a bit of the image. It's different. It's weird. It's cool in one way, but I know I've got something to hang on the wall for Halloween. Hello. Far as image, very random, very unusual. Um, had lots of fun guessing with the kids. That was really fun. Um, as I said, I do believe it's Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. So that was that covered. Far as enjoyment, this was a lot of fun. Um, I absolutely think you should do at least one mystery diamond painting in your life because it is a lot of fun. You get a, sometimes a very strange result, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed working on it. And yeah, uh, I have ordered um, a couple more mystery diamond paintings from AliExpress. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get onto those, but when I do, I might do them a little bit different to this one where I might just add it tap it on to the end of the video, my progress or something, so we can all sort of guess together next time. So we'll see how we go. That's future works. I have no idea. No idea. But this one, yeah, I really enjoyed working on it. It kept me motivated because I didn't know what the image was, all that sort of side of it. So yeah, definitely. I would personally say, get yourself, you know, go to, uh, this one was at FG Normal, and this one is number 18, so just maybe not request 18, ask for some of the other numbers or something like that, if you can, if you like. Um, that's about the only thing I can give you off the canvas to identify it if you don't want this particular one. But yeah, I'd go have a check out um, FG Normal or somewhere and get a mystery diamond painting, because I do think doing one of them in your diamond painting career is a lot of fun and a good idea. Now, far as the actual kit as a product, product, glue, very good. No problems there. A um, little bit pokey at the edges here, little, little bit, not much. I did end up putting some washi tape because it was driving me a bit crackers. But, um, and I sectioned it off as you've seen. 
so it sort of worked better doing it that way because I was doing it all over the place. Depends how you like to work. I just decided to do that because it was a mystery diamond painting just for the hell of it, you know, basically. Um, put a bit more spin on it, as I say. Symbols. Uh, not my favourite, I will say that. I love the simple sort of systems and this one didn't quite have that going on really. I'm not really sure if that's going to focus. And DMC numbers on the side there and some really, not really hard symbols, but just things that sort of made you have to think. I really didn't understand parts like number one was a star, but number 20, for example, is number one. So why not just have number one as number one? I don't know. Simple things like that. Why did seven have to be nine? Why not just be nine be nine? Why did nine be two? Just little things like you had to sort of concentrate on what you're doing. But other than that, I would have preferred just a letter system or something. I don't know. Personal preference. Personal preference. That's all I'm saying about that. Would have been a bit more enjoyable, relaxing, whatever. So you just had to keep track. You really just, I just felt like I had to keep track a little bit. Um, so just sort of sitting back watching telly with the family sort of thing and trying to die and paint or something, you got to really sort of concentrate a bit more. Other than that, symbols were printed very, very clear. Um, the only reason I suggest a light pad for this one is just so you, that you can really determine things like B's, F's and E's. A little bit similar. Sometimes we're working with each other in the same sort of areas. And arrows, up arrows and side arrows. For some reason, we're in the same space. So, little things like that. If you had a light pad, that just made things a little bit more easier, clearer to read, see, thing. Ah, so, that's basically the symbol sort of side of things. Uh, drills. As you can see it had a or has I should say uh, a really beautiful shimmer it's really nice cut to these um, drills they are shiny they are sparkly they are really pretty and that's just in size so if I took that out in the sunshine it even go more mad but yeah it sort of catches and you can see that it's a nice soft canvas too, which is nice. It's nice and pliable. It's got a um, bit of glitter through it. So all in all, very nice canvas. Uh, the only real drill I had any concerns with was the black. And black often is a bit average. It had some different sizes. It was a bit rough. All right, so a really nice shine to the drills. Uh, this one had training wheels. I did not like that because it does show through such the light white background. And yeah, other than that, everything here was really, really cool. Some personal preferences there, but in general, a lot of fun, a great kit. So yeah, that is my Oogie Boogie. Uh, we'll just flip him over. And have a look at what's left in the drill container. Uh, I'm not going to trash these ones out. Let's have a look at what's left in the containers. Where am I? There I am. There we are. That is one to four. Uh, these are sort of a grey colours. It's basically grey, greens and whites. There's not a lot of colours to choose from. But I did have plenty left over. And other than the black, which I wouldn't... I'm out of sequence here. Other than the black, which I would trash the rest, I am going to donate to some projects of a girlfriend of mine who has her own channel called... Crystal Crafts with D. So if you want to go check that out. There's some interesting finished projects there as well.
So there we go. That's pretty much all my colours. As you can see, plenty of just greens and so forth. So yeah, uh, 20 colours in total. All jumbled up. No, that's okay. So that is pretty much. Oh, and I had still plenty of the background colour as well left over. Now these came in little zip bags. I'll be able to pop them straight back in there and done. That was another great thing about this particular kit was the little zip bags. So yeah, that's pretty much is the end of that one. That's the review for the Mystery DP I got from FG Normal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at that one. A bit of fun, different, def definitely different image. Um, different kind of way of diamond painting all good and yeah um, I'll say uh, be your life beautiful with diamond art this is Dale signing out have a wonderful day I'll see you in the next video guys take care now bye